year. And I'm not too sure that it's government's job to provide jobs. It's a, the business sector. But my question is, how would you guys help the business sector and encourage the business sector to create more jobs in your cities? Tom, we can start with you again. We have a lot of small business in, uh, in Coeur d'Alene, and, and um, I think uh, we need to create ways to help that small business grow. It's great to move companies in from out of the area, and if you can do that, that's fantastic. Let's bring some jobs. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that big win, that big score, that big company, let's figure out ways to help uh, the business that's already here flourish and grow. The ways, I think, to help with that, actually, is, I know it's a bad word, but urban renewal, and part of the point, like with the health district, is to create opportunity for Kootenai Health and other medical-related um, businesses there to expand. So that's one. Another way, actually, um, the area agency I worked for was part of North Idaho College, and a big part of being able to attract people to better paying jobs is that they have the training uh, to do that. And I think that you know they're doing some great things with the KTEC Center out at Grantham and things, but I think we need to do as much as we can to support that uh, job training and education opportunity. Um, I think education is the key to um, increasing the income in this area. I think it's not necessarily about you know bringing in more jobs, it's bringing in better jobs. And having people have the tools in the toolbox so that they can do the jobs that they, that, that there's a need for right now. Um, I do know that NIC and uh, Lucent Park and all of that, there, there's so many things. I honestly think that it needs to start on the high school level. I think that there's a lot of things that are uh, not being shown options on where they can go. And I think that it just, just takes a lot of mentorship from all of us, I think, to get there and help them out. I think it's about community, and I think it's about starting at home and helping them there. Uh, definitely supporting our, our local small businesses now so they, they can thrive and keep hiring people in the community. Make sure we have a trained workforce, whether that's through education or that's through KTEC or NIC or so many organizations, jobs plus everybody that's trying to work on that so that people are trained up for the jobs that are here now and the jobs in the future. So if we keep keep working on that and then also hopefully higher paying jobs will continue to move here as the workforce is trained up and ready to go. We have a we have a huge shortage in just trades trade jobs right now. So people aren't trained up enough. Who so work in the construction industry and the construction industry is, is suffering because there's not enough people to work for. Best thing government can do to spur jobs is to get the hell out of the way. Urban renewal can also be used. I know it's tossed around. Um, and the main reason that comes up is because we compete with other states for those big jobs and they have tools like Urban Renewal, so the big companies are looking forward to that. It's probably not gonna happen in Coeur d'Alene though, because we're pretty much built out. It's gonna happen in Raptor. <coughs> so, yeah, heads up. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I would look to the people who focus on this as to be the ones that we should be encouraging I agree with Dan, government should get out of the way of the private sector. I would work to reduce the fees that a city charges small businesses. I would also like to try to institute an adult education program run through the Parks and Recreation Department where we could give single mothers and other small entrepreneurs the skills they need to run a business and succeed in it. Um, we worked tirelessly and lobbied and worked really hard to get um, K-Tech for the high school kids, Votech School, and NIC to keep their word and bring that tech school to Rathdrum. And many people are going through there. We were told that people needed skilled workers for certain jobs. 
Um, I don't think it is the government's job uh, to create jobs, but I think we need to encourage any way we can, get more training, uh, try to get some companies maybe to provide training on the job, but um, I think we have to work together and, and get some better paying jobs for people. And it may not be our job to get them the jobs here, but I think we have a big role in helping that happen. Yeah, like Debbie said, we have an opportunity in our city. We, we worked really hard to get KTEC, NIC there. Uh, and jobs, you know, we're not talking about minimum wage jobs where they're, you know, slinging french fries like a lot of us probably did in high school. We're talking um, technical jobs, jobs that we don't have to go to Spokane to get. We can do it right here in our backyard. And it, and it starts with the education process. It starts with our kids, my kids, coming back from where they were working in our cities with a good paying job now that they've graduated college. And that's how we do it. I have concern about the growth of our community um, being an attraction to uh, major corporations that, uh, that could drive out the small businesses that again provide that small town charm that, uh, that our community enjoys, that attracts people to our, to our uh, uh, community, to our city. Um, I, I really don't want the, the small business owners to, to go out of business to hear of, of uh, businesses that are closing shop or moving or relocating because of government taxes and fees and things like that. So I think that that's how you help the, the small businesses. Um, and I, I don't hope to encourage big corporations to come to Rathrum. I really have to applaud the small business owners uh, in the city of Hayden. I think we have so much talent that is hardly uh, recognized and appreciated by the rest of the community. We build roller coasters, we build roads, and our restaurants are amazing, they're always full. I think part of the city's job is to make sure that they provide the support for existing businesses as well as up and coming businesses and one thing that i would like to see if elected is that government way we can start to fill up some of those empty shops and give people more opportunities because a lot of the jobs that are existing in hayden are provided by people who live here and the small businesses that have established here free market free market free market that's yeah. that's what i stand for and there's a study by the Rural uh, Institute that studied the impact on city services or county services that said uh, with industrial or commercial property, for every dollar that we collect in taxes, we have to put out 89 cents. So in other words, the more business uh, and industrial type properties we have, the better off we are because we can, we can that growth is a good growth. Whereas, residentially, for every dollar that we take in, we have to put a dollar nine. So I'm a strong proponent for businesses and industrial properties to, to be developed so we can create these jobs. I moved to Coeur in 1976, and young people were moving out because there weren't jobs. The good thing about growth is we have more jobs and more opportunities so the young people can stay here, and that's a good thing. Well, on behalf of the Northwest Property Owners Alliance, we'd like to thank all of you for coming this evening. Uh, most importantly, we'd like to thank all of you for running for office, for serving as candidates, and commend you for your composure this evening, your honesty, and your integrity should you be elected to serve the municipalities you wish to serve. And thank you for those who have served already. We've got some uh, other uh, elected officials in the room. Thank you for that service and your continued allegiance to both the Constitution and the fundamental uh, conservative functions of government in our county, state, and city. So the Northwest Property Owners Alliance, if you haven't already signed up, please do so in the back of the room. There are half sheets are. Uh, uh, membership is free, and we will uh, keep you appraised by way of email updates of upcoming events, forums such as this. The entire uh, goal of the Northwest Property Owners Alliance is to engage the public in the, uh, in the sphere of what's happening in government, and we would encourage you to invite all your friends next time there's an event such as this, and also we want to remind you that we do have an annual fundraising event that generally takes place in April, and we'd be delighted to see all of you there. 
So thank you again so much, and good luck to all of you.